Good morning. I'm at Sawtooth uh, Campground and uh, for SoCal Soda Winter Soda Fest. I'm doing camping out a little bit differently today. I rented a, uh, a little uh, Mercedes uh, camper van here and with Ray. Ray, come over here and say hello. Trail dogs here and uh, so let's go check out uh, the people that are here so far. Uh, Mike uh, Kansas City Easy E is on his way here, and uh, people just breaking out the, making breakfast, having coffee. So we have uh, Lorraine here. Good morning. Hi there. Call sign. W six L O R. All right. And K six S D R. Mike. Mike. There you go. <laughs> Can 6 7 Y. Oh, they're having a burrito. Trying to keep it away from Ray. <laughs> so, anyway, we're waiting for Mike and then we're going to head out, I think, this morning, right? Hit some various mountains. I'll, I know I'm going to hit Ord, maybe Goat, West, a bunch of them out here to hit. So, it should be fun. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. Summit's on the air. So, Kevin, how did you get into radio? <laughs> um, I think I was just trying to find some like off road uh, communication stuff, and I just thought it was all CB radio. Um, and then, obviously, through that rabbit hole, it was like ham radio, amateur radio. And then, uh, like, through that, found soda somehow. I think it was like Rex's website actually, okay. where he talked about trail running and ham radio, and I was nice. like, "Oh, like that's me." What's this all about? Yeah, and then uh, I think I did one activation, and then I didn't do anything for two years. <laughs> so, yeah, cool. Yeah. All right, how'd you get into radio, man? Um, well, kind of an odd story, I guess. My dad was really into it for a long time, and as he was getting older, I was looking for. Uh, a way to kind of spend a little more time with them and connect and uh, so I decided I'd get my ham license and we could talk about ham radio stuff together and uh, so I did that and I built uh, built a few low power kits and took them backpacking and things mm -hmm. like that talked to him on the radio uh, a few times and then kind of took a break from it for I don't know 10 or 15 years and uh, then just sort of in the past couple of years got back into it and uh, Lorene upgraded to a general, and uh, we started doing a lot of soda. And, uh, cool. Really kind of took off from there. Yeah, yeah. You guys were up in uh, at Big Bear with us. So yeah, that yeah. was a lot of fun. Yeah, she was uh, she was a technician then and doing a lot of two meter stuff. And uh, but we were on a couple of remote peaks in the Eastern Sierra where uh, uh, two meters wasn't going to cut it for a soda activation, right, and yeah. that was finally the motivation. Uh, uh, okay. For okay. The study for the general. So really, I love it. Soda is causing people to get their general license, although we've kind of known this. Uh, and it also kind of gets people up on doing Morse code like me. I would have never done Morse code, but you can run lighter, you can go farther, and it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's frustrating kind of learning, but once you get going to get the call sign the first time through, is is like, hey, hey, I got this. So, cool. We've got a couple uh, new arrivals here. You want to introduce yourself? I'm uh, Brett, K1BAA. K1BAA. He's uh, joining us from, where are you, at? Where are you from? I'm from uh, Whittier. Whittier, okay. Yeah, Whittier. Drove up yesterday and I camped over in uh, number 11. Okay, awesome. And then we got uh, Mike, can 6 eze over here. Howdy. Uh, getting, it, getting up here, getting ready to roll with uh, Kevin. You guys are going to head up... Uh, was it West Orge or something? We're gonna hit up as many as we can. All right. We have no idea. But. Yeah, I'm gonna cruise around, hit a few. You guys are gonna. Well, David's on uh, five eight. Yep. Are you guys gonna monitor that or? Yeah, I'm gonna mon dual monitor five eight and uh, okay one forty seven five one. So I'll hit uh, five eight. Cool. Cool. All right. Yep. Now well, we're getting ready to pull out here. And we'll see how the roads are like. These guys are gonna head up to west, east, east, yeah. east Ord. East Ord. They're gonna get cracking. We're gonna get cracking. All right, yeah. go. 
Ray and I are going to head up to Ord. Uh, I'm going to take the bike, and but I'm going to put on a fleece, take this jacket off. Then we're going to get cracking. I'm going to get this thing parked though. All right, pretty busy up here. It's cold, a little windy. I had to push the bike quite a ways, but it's going to be fun on the way down. Um, I got a summit to summit with uh, uh, Kevin. What's your there? And your five nine. Sierra Delta 013. Sierra Delta 013. And here. I am Sierra Delta 018. Roger, Roger, Sierra Delta 018. Um, yeah, this this hike was really fun. Uh, really cool. We can talk more about it at camp, but uh, yeah, Sounds good, uh, Kevin, and uh, I think there's another summit to summit, and actually Mike is here if he can get you on. Yeah, go ahead. K6FNY, you're 5959 on Rodman Mountain High Point from K6SDR. Roger, Roger, you are 59 as well. Thanks so much for the contact. I'm going to see what the other summit to summit was and uh, have fun up there. I'll talk to you guys later. K6SDR. 3 K6SDR, please. K6SDR and 1CLC Summit to Summit. Uh, other summit to summit that was in there, go ahead, please. K6SDR and 1CLC Summit to Summit. And 1CLC from K6SDR, you're 5959. Five Roger, Roger, that's Sierra Delta Romeo, right? Sierra Tango Romeo. Sierra Tango Romeo. Ah, uh, thanks. All right, yeah, I got you 5-9 up here on Ord. Uh, Sierra Delta 010. Thanks very much for 010 and another operator here for you, K6SDR. Hi, Christian, you are 5-9 and 1CLC here on Whiskey 6, Sierra Delta 018. Over. Alrighty, K6LOR and 1CLC, got you 5-9 up here. Sounding great, man. W6LOR, sorry Christian, W6LOR, over. W6LOR, I knew that, I was just testing you. And I should have said it at the beginning. <laughs> anyway, thanks Chris, uh, have, you, have, have a great uh, ride down. Uh, W6LOR, 73. 73. Alright, yeah. A little crazy up here with all these people on mountaintops. Pretty fun. Gotta love it, man. That's what happens when you get crack and get, you get up the mountain. So I'm gonna set up my HF here. Uh, hey, Ray, what'd you think? Did you like the hike? She literally was running. This dog was literally running uphill, just having a ball. Hard to see her with that camo she's wearing. <laughs> All right. All right, let's get set up. This is awesome so far. Getting ready to get on HF, we're gonna try out a new key. Uh, check this baby out, just picked this up on eBay, pretty cheap. Uh, it's got uh, uh, aerodynamic design, and uh, uh, it's got some extra holes in there to get you more speed, uh, cause you know, when I start cranking, man, we're, we're, I'm gonna need all the help I can get. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be a fast key. All this aerodynamic and, uh, uh, stuff on here. So anyway, uh, it's kind of crazy up here just on uh, VHF. All the guys doing summit to summit. So I'm picking up guys uh, out toward the LA area. And then of course again, we get about four or five guys up on summits around here. So as well as the Lorraine and uh, Mike are up there. So yeah. All right. So let's get on HF. We're going to try this thing out. Um, I'm gonna have to use a speaker because I need the same cord that I use for my uh, recorder to do this. So we'll see how that works. Hopefully you can hear it. trying to get a summit to summit with George, but I don't think it's going to happen today. Not on 40, you can't hear anything. Let's try somebody else here. Uh, shoot. 7252. 
Let's try that. Summit to summit, summit to summit. Let's go spot on. Let's spot on 40 CW. Eh, picking up some nasty, some nasty stuff right now. Eh, 706O. Let's see what this thing sounds like. Let's see if I can make a contact with it. She's a working. So you really have to hold this key down well. And you have to be very, very light with it the way I have it set up. So he's giving me a 569. This key is definitely working. I'm loving it. Finished the activation. I got 33 contacts, uh, nine summit to summits, and I think seven of those are unique summits. So did pretty well today uh, here on this mountain. We're gonna maybe hit another one. What do you think, Ray Ray? She's been out here basically keeping a watch. That's her her job is to basically patrol the area, make sure uh, we're safe up here. And if she sees anything, she always lets me know. <laughs> But anyway, um, we're going to pack it up here and see if we maybe get to another one this afternoon and uh, maybe have a sandwich down at the vehicle. I'm a little bit cold up here, so I figured I'll eat down the, eat down the vehicle. So uh, let's get up. Maybe I can get a drone shot of this uh, mountain. It's a, a big, gigantic rock pile, 
and it's nothing nothing but let me just give you a quick sweep here I'm gonna come around and it's up north and then swing it around uh, here we go some uh, mountain tops covered with um, snow there I've got a good uh, windbreak here so it's not too bad if I was uh, fully exposed to be a heck of a lot colder all right so let's wrap it up let's get cracking downhill on the mountain bike I may have to walk big rocky area she's ready to roll Nothing like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich after a excellent soda. We're going to see if you can get over to another one. It might be a drive up uh, Rodman. So we're going to take this little uh, detour over here and see how it goes. What do you think, Ray? Is that a good idea? All right. We drove up to the top of Rodman, SD018. Um, really nice road up here, so felt comfortable doing that. We're gonna go up here and get a few contacts. See what we can do. All right, Roger, Roger. All right, man. Thanks for the contact. Appreciate it. Have a good one, too. CQ, CQ, CQ. November one, turn in Lima, Charlie. Looking for any station anywhere. Number one, Charlie Lima, Charlie, looking for uh, summits on the air for any station anywhere. N6 CTC. I uh, got you about a 58 up here. 58. Yeah, you're about 5757. And November 6th, Uniform Tango Charlie. And I'm a rolling station for the VHS contest. N6 CTC Rover. You're about 57. And I'm in Rover Heights. I'm Delta Mike 13. Okay, Roger, Roger. That's Uniform Tango Charlie, correct? Yeah, QSL. Oh, what was your call? I missed it, but it's in November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. QSL, QSL. Oh God, I don't know, man. I'm up, I'm up here in the high desert by, uh, uh, let's see if I can give it to you, stand by. Kilo Mike 6, uniform, uniform Mike. QSL, QSL, I got you 5-9 up on uh, Rodman. QSL, you're coming in at 592, no interference, strong copy. How is it up there? It's cold, I'm out in the open and the wind's blowing. Okay, about that time, I was pretty much frozen, a little bit frustrated with all the RFI on the top of the mountain, and I packed up and left. The battery died um, before I had a chance to wrap it up. I was only able to get contacts really on VHF up there. Um, I didn't want to reset up somewhere else for HF, so I went ahead and did that. So, I had a great time with the SoCal Soda team up there. Uh, it was great seeing everybody. Uh, it was some fun hiking, and uh, we did one more summit. I'm going to leave that to the next video with uh, David, N6AN. So stay tuned for that one. Before I go, though, a little bit of mail time. Um, I got a, a bunch of QSL cards here. 
uh, want to go through. So N0 DET Delta Echo Tango. Thanks for um, the, the card. We worked me back last October. Thanks for the S2S contact. And uh, he was on Thunder Mountain in the Rocky Mountain National Park. He was using an HB1B uh, on 3.7 watts. He had an N-fed halfway hooked up to that. And uh, he said, thanks for the other contacts. So, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So Dave's invite me to another cold summit. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, maybe we can do something together. I'd look forward to that. Next one is from uh, Thousand Oaks, California. Alpha Juliet 6 Uniform Golf. And uh, this is from Fred. And he's in Thousand Oaks. And it looks like, yeah. So he was using a KX3 Elecraft 10 watts. And uh, he said, thanks for the video on the chase. And the Summit to Summit. So, Merry Christmas. That was a while back. And uh, Amateur Radio Station November Juliet 6, Quebec. Um, he said it was a lot of fun for the chase. And uh, thank you for all. Thanks, Jeremy. I appreciate it. He is in Encinitas. So, cool card there. Thanks for the card. And a couple more here from Kilo India 6, Echo Alpha Bravo, John in uh, Capitola by the Sea. And uh, he worked me on 40 meters. Thanks for the uh, contact. And it uh, looks like he was doing soda as well. So, yeah, a lot of fun. Thanks for the card. That's a pretty cool one. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to like to come up and visit you. That looks really nice. Last one is from Moab, Utah. Uh, Bob Cutter, Kilo India Zero Golf. And uh, he said, thanks for uh, being first QSO with QCX Mini. Oh, cool. I built one of those too. Uh, hopefully you saw that video. Um, I'll link to it in the description. So that thing was a lot of fun to build. The great lightweight radio. I'm definitely going to use it some more. I've done a couple activations with it. And, and it's a lot of fun. So, whoops. Here is one from Moab. So, I appreciate all the cards. It's a lot of fun, uh, not only making the videos, but I really enjoy getting cards. Um, I'll try to make sure I get one out to you guys as well. And um, I sent out some more, and I think I should have some more in the next video in Mail Call. So, with that, thanks for joining. If you want to learn more about the hobby, um, go to hamninja.com slash presentation. I build a four-part video series as well. If you go to hamninja.com slash soda360, you'll be able to see a four-part series on activating. I got something in there for um, chasing as well and uh, some other videos in that series, uh, kind of a learning series that I set up called Soda360. So thanks for watching and, uh, well, let's roll the credits.